Hey everybody, welcome back. So I want to thank everyone, uh, all my subscribers. I hit the 500 uh, subscriber mark. Definitely appreciate that. I will be doing a giveaway. I'll make a separate video for the giveaway and all that. But for today, I am uh, spray bowing my Ruger American Predator stock. This is, uh, you know, spray paint. I have uh, some uh, Rust-Oleum. Uh, this is the camouflage uh, style. This is uh, Rust-Oleum, two times uh, ultra cover. You know, it goes on anything, paint primer in one. Uh, this is a green, obviously I've already sprayed it tan. That's this can here. And I have uh, Rust-Oleum, this is universal. This is a satin, so I'm not gonna go crazy with a satin because I don't I don't want a satin finish. I want more of a flat flat finish. Uh, I do have um, I do have this this other Rust Oleum paint and primer. Uh, this is a green. This is almost it almost matches the Ruger American Predator stock color. So I may roll some of this on and not roll spray on and uh, you know in in spots so the technique I'm gonna go with today this is uh, I'm gonna take some wire wrap it around in any shape for uh, no no rhyme or reason on this and when you spray paint your stock there really is no rhyme or reason and if you don't like it go over it with one color and start over so this is uh, some paint bristles that I'm going to set on the stock and uh, you know no rhyme or reason do a light coat so it covers and I do have um, this netting and I'll set this here and spray in no rhyme or reason on that and and another technique I'm going to be using this is an airbrush and I will take and you know this I can get a finer spray on this instead of using the actual spray can so I'll spray into this cup and then spray you know around to where I want it and it actually it works pretty good um, you gotta spray in there and then uh, um, so paint builds up and then uh, and then you can go ahead and spray on there so you'll see that um, uh, like I said there's no rhyme or reason and this is how we're gonna do it so uh, without further ado I'm gonna wrap the cord around there because I want that all the way around the stock so that way there it breaks it up and this you know this uh, FD, FDE you know the flat dark earth will uh, be the base color and it should look pretty cool so let's uh, let's get this started When you're doing this, you want your material tight. That way there you don't get any shadows below it and you, your spray stays in one area and not go underneath. That's, that, is, that is one of the key areas when you're spray painting. And so you're using a, a, uh, a pattern. So that, um, work out pretty good just like this Get it nice and tight all right there we go so when you do this you want your patterns whatever you're going to be spraying onto your your gun your stock you want it you want it tight that way there when you spray the spray doesn't go underneath and uh, at least this is my my you know thought process on this and I've done one other and it actually came out really well it was a um, uh, 762 by 39 pistol that I that I've since have sold, uh, but anyways, um, you want your pattern tight. That way, there, like I said, you don't get any spray going underneath. So, first up, I'm going to uh, use use some black, and then that way there, it, it can break up this tan and whatnot.
All right, so now I'm gonna go put some tan back in and I'm gonna go over the whole stock and that will help blend it this, uh, you know, these patterns together and it's so it's, you don't have any sharp edges and you know, it, it should, should work out well with, with uh, going over it with the tan now. Do this. Let's uncover her. So one reason I use that the airbrush. The, it eliminates some of the heavy spray that you get with with the, the spray cans. It, you can adjust by the by when you pull it back. It, the more you pull it back, the more spray comes out. But it's not as heavy as it like is with a spray can. And I kind of just screwed it up a little bit here. It's a um, you know that little splatter, but. We're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna uh, I'm going to put the rifle back in it. And then I'll show you the uh, show how show you how it looks when it's done. Stick around. All right, so this is the uh, factory stock. This is the factory stock that I had my 6.5 Creedmoor in. Uh, it's now in that Magpul Hunter stock, so uh, I do have a spare. If I don't like this one, I can swap it back into this stock. So this is the uh, this is the this is the final outcome on uh, the the spray bomb uh, look, and uh, it's okay. Not 100% satisfied. I Honestly, probably should have left it alone instead of, you know, messing with it so it could have set up a little bit better because I can already see a little bit of wear, but that's to be expected with with spray paint and uh, prep work was, uh, <laughs> needless to say, no, there was no prep work. I just sprayed that FDE, that tan on here and just rolled with it. So it is what it is. Uh, I should have taken a little bit of time and done some prep work. Uh, spray some degreaser you know on on the stock to get it cleaned and whatnot but whatever all right so yeah they right. i'm not 100 percent satisfied that the, the way it came out but it's okay it's it customizes it a little bit for me um, it i won't get confused whether i'm going to grab the 6.5 grendel or the 6 creed more you know because of the factory stock my 6.5 grendel is still in the factory stock so uh but yeah the um it's okay if I lay the rifle down when I was doing the initial fanning and with the, with the paintbrush, the it, it would have came out a little bit better than the way it did. I mean, it's it's all right, um, not completely satisfied the way this the the that patchwork came out. Um, but spring, I know I was watching in the video while editing it and. It didn't look that good, you know, prior to going over it with one more coat of the um, of the tan. Uh, so happy I did that, you know, because it, it blends it all together. And so that's so. Uh, thanks for my to my subscribers. Definitely, it's cool that I've hit that 500 uh, subscriber mark. Uh, next push is going to be a thousand, obviously. But uh, you know, um, so. 500 subscriber giveaway will be coming up soon. I have CPD mags uh, on board to give away some magazines. And I also have uh, those those trays. I use the trays for 
in my on my bench reloading um they, they'd be great on a nightstand you could throw your change throw your wallet you know your your uh concealed weapon if you you know or knife whatever you you know you can dump tray uh you could use it in the kitchen uh you know there's there's plenty of uses that you could use those um those trays for i have two and those are the american flags i should have brought one out but anyways the uh so i have two to give away on that and uh uh like i said the mags i'll probably try to look into adding something else for the giveaway but so that will be coming up soon and uh, i hope to get out to the range tomorrow and do some uh six five cream uh six five grendel loads uh with my pistol and the 264 lbc barrel that i uh i've only had 50 rounds or so through that barrel and that way there you know but um definitely definitely look uh watch watch for that video coming up uh probably tomorrow night or maybe monday when i get it edited and all that crap so thanks to the my new subscribers that just actually subscribed uh to get me up over that 500 appreciate it and to my current my you know long time subscribers i do have quite a few that uh, have been with me since my uh early early 65 grendel videos so uh Appreciate it. I do. I really do. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you're new, if you're watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button. So uh, and make sure the bell. Yeah, there's a little bell on the top that, you know, you got to click to get notified when uh, I do upload a video. So, you know, uh, that's that's up to you if you want to stick around. If not, you know, thanks for watching this one. And, uh, and we'll catch you all soon. I'm out.